Hello everyone, it's Kay from Tokyo. Today, as per so many requests from traders, in this video, I'll be talking about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. The reason is that, you know, I thought it may be valuable to explain about this as a Japanese trader because it's originally invented here, you know, although there are so many good websites and videos that talk about it in the world. But not only I'm a Japanese trader, I actually learned it directly from the great grandson of the original inventor, Goichi Hosoda, a few years ago. So I think I have better and more precise understanding because the original books and lectures are all in Japanese only. So I'm very excited to deliver and share it with you today. So I will start the recording right now, but if you already like this video and already excited to watch further, please press a good button. And I think it'll be a series of videos because I have a lot that I wanted to talk about it. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell if you don't want to miss the next video. So let's start it right now. Okay, first, let me go over some of the history of how it's been invented and how it came to the world. Then I will introduce some of his words that are necessary to understand the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. Alright, so first, the real name of the inventor is called Goichi Hosoda, and his pen name was actually called Ichimoku Sanjin. Like Forex K myself, you know? Of course, my real name is not Forex K, but it's Keita. My real name is Keita, but、uh, I just thought K sounds easier to pronounce for you guys, so I just named myself K.、Um, anyways, Ichimoku Sanjin was born in 1898, and he was the most incredible chart analyst in Japan back in the early 90s. Actually, he was a general manager of sales department in one of the major newspaper companies in Japan called Miyako Newspaper back then, and now it's called Tokyo Newspaper. But it was the one that particularly deals with economic news and daily chart analysis for forex and stocks market in, on the newspaper. So, in other words, it was the most well known economic newspaper in Japan back then. So, he was a general manager there. But actually, that was not when he started chart analysis. It said that he started to analyze charts and trade ever since he was 10 years old. So he was not just a writer or analyst, but he himself was actually a successful trader and a successful investor. And later, after graduating from the newspaper company, he started up his own research center and he was very much into chart analysis at that time. And there he combined the chart analysis techniques with you know, natural science or philosophy or mathematics and all. Then finally, he came to invent a tool called Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So he was very disciplined and quite an amazing guy. And when it was first invented around in 1935, his technique was originally called Shinto Tenkansen, and gradually the name has been changed. And in 1950, he decided to give his knowledge to three of his friends. Actually, he was asked to share his knowledge from three of his friends. And this is kind of a famous story in Japan, but at that time, he was already well known for his prediction of the market, and he was asked by three of his friends to actually teach his technique. And he decided to reveal his technique only to those three people, no one else. And these were pretty big names. One of them was the president of Yamauchi Securities, one of the biggest securities、uh, firms in Japan. And another one was the director of、uh, the securities firm. And the other one is actually unknown. And can you guess how much they paid to him to teach his technique? Actually, they gave him enough money to be able to build a new house. Yeah, and especially back then, it must be a lot of money. He, wa he was offered and actually requested to teach Ichimoku Kinko Hyo with that amount of money. Then he accepted the offer. And that's what I'll be sharing with you today. So, those who watch this video, make sure to send me enough money that I can build a new house, right? Anyways, because of that, Ichimoku was not revealed outside of the world because he only taught to those three people and they wanted to keep it secret. But after 20 years passed, 
in 1969, he thought it's okay to share it outside, so he wrote a book and published it out. Originally, there were seven volumes in total, and right now in Japan, we can actually purchase four volumes in public, and the other three you can read them at the National Diet Library in Tokyo. Just for your reference, the four volumes we can buy here in Japan are called Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo Complete, and Ichimoku Kinko Hyo Weekly, and Ichimoku Kinko Hyo My Best Spectrum. And I've read all these books like a few years ago, and I have other books that talk about and explain about these books. So I'm very excited to share it with you through YouTube like this. Now, what we call Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is just a part of his teaching. You know, usually for technical tools, we call them indicators, right? But actually, Ichimoku is not just simply an indicator, but it's actually like a whole integrated wisdom, so to speak, about the market system itself. And among all those knowledge, the indicator of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is just one of the categories for chart reading technique. So to make a long story short, if you don't know how Ichimoku Sanjin thinks about the market, you cannot use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo in the right way as an indicator. And even the traders in Japan, like if they don't understand and grasp the concept, they cannot use it correctly. So before going into the details of the Kumo and other lines, let me share how Ichimoku Sanjin thinks about the market by referring to his own words, because this is very important to know if you want to use Ichimoku Kinko Hyo as an indicator. Let me share four major concepts from his words today. In his book, one of the words that often appears is know the presence of the market. Now what that means is that in the market, it's always a fight between buy and sell. Those who hold buy positions get profit when the price goes up, and those who hold sell positions get profit as the market goes bearish, right? And it's happening every day. And during that fight between buy and sell, at some point, the equilibrium will collapse and the market will move towards the winner's direction. From 50-50 power balance, at some point in the market, the equilibrium will be imbalanced and the market goes towards the winner's direction. So you need to be able to identify how much the buy or sell traders are winning or losing in the market that you're watching, and that's what he calls the presence of the market. Secondly, it's called time theory because he says time is everything about the market. Among all the moves in the chart, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is a technical tool that really focuses on time. As time goes by, the condition changes. You know, for example, uh, grains. Uh, you know, grains will decay as time goes by and its value will be going down. But for example, the value of wines, like red wines, will rise as time goes by. Um, also, like the value of a coat or the fur uh, will rise in fall before the winter comes. But uh, let's say the value of the beer will rise in summer, things like that. So depending on the time, the value changes over time. So he thinks time is something that should be highly focused when analyzing the chart. And Ichimoku Kinko Hyo especially focuses on the time. For example, I will talk about this later in detail, but if you know, there's an indicator called Kumo, you know, the cloud. And if the price crosses and breaks Kumo or not is very important. And what I like about Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is that even the price stays the same level as time goes by, it goes into Kumo and sometimes it breaks it through, you know, even the price level doesn't change. So that actually tells us even the level of the price does not change, the situation or the environment changes over time, and Kumo is one of the rare indicators that tells us that information. Third, he says, simplicity is the truth. This is also my favorite word, and it's also something I truly believe as a professional trader, but as you study more and more, it becomes more complicated. But complicated things are difficult to manage, and also it's not universal. Rather, simple things are closer to the truth. You know, market or the price action is all about move or don't move, right? And if it moves, it's either going up or down. That's it, right? It's very simple. 
So you can use as many indicators or tools as possible, but don't forget to look at chart with simple eyes. And the fourth concept of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo is he says, be free and surrender. That means trading without going against the flow. And for chart analysis, the most important thing is to feel the change in the market. You know, when I analyze a chart every day, one thing I really feel is,、uh, for example, yesterday the market was bull trend, but after I sleep and wake up in the morning, the market becomes complete bearish, you know? It changes completely. And that kind of things happen a lot daily, regardless of how much I analyze a chart a day before. Maybe it could be due to some fundamental news or some other news or you know, factors, but next day, or sometimes even one hour later, the market may be changed. So, the environment of the market changes over time, and you need to be able to sense that change without biased mindset. That's what he means by be free and surrender. Ichimoku Sanjin also says, in other words, he says, always trade like having no positions. You know, positions means buy or sell positions, and no positions means you are not trading, you're just watching the market. And when you're not trading, you can judge things objectively and correctly, like gold could be going up, or this pair will drop to this level, and so on. However, As soon as you have a position, you have greed. And also, you have fear at the same time. So, even if the market makes a move just a little, you get scared or feel good from moment to moment. But no matter how many positions you have or how big the position is to you, if you can look at a chart as if you have no positions, you can analyze the chart objectively and be able to deal with the changing situation with correct mindset. And that's also something Ichimoku Sanjin values a lot. So, I've introduced some of his words、uh, this time, but all these concepts are in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So, now you kind of have an idea how it's been developed and shared outside, and also you learn some of the profound concepts from Ichimoku Sanjin as a trader. You know, I could have just jumped into、um, how to see the chart and actually how to trade with it, but I thought it's important to share this knowledge first, you know, because I thought the concept is universal and it's valuable to know if you want success as a professional trader in general. So, on the next video, I will be going through more practically about the Kumo and lines and whole setup of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. So, if you don't want to miss it, Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you receive a notification when I upload it. And please press good button、uh, if you like this video. Alright, see you next one. Stay gold. Mata ne. Cheers.